Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a brand new speed reviews for you guys. I'm gonna be going through all of the products that I've been testing out lately. I uh, haven't done one of these in a while. We don't have a ton to go through, but you know, there's enough and I'm never as speedy as I wanna be. So let's dive straight in. And let's start with the palette that I have on my eyes today. I have also something else on my eyes that we're gonna talk about in a little bit. But I have been testing out the Violet Voss Sunkissed Summer Palette. This one's tough to show because it's there. It's got the gold background, um, but it's got a really fun row of sort of yellowy shades there. And then we've got some sort of more blush tones and a brown up top here. This is very much the Violet Voss formula that we know and love. It's a beautiful palette, it performs beautifully. The only thing that I find different about this palette versus other Violet Voss palettes that I've tried in the past is this shade right here called Berry Hot. And this is actually like a pressed glitter, which I don't think I've ever seen in a Violet Voss palette. So I did put this one on my eyes today. So I have the shade Cool Down in my crease. Uh, I have the shade Glow On in my inner corner, and then I have Very Hot tapped over something else all over my lid, and it's very sparkly, very pretty. Um, I do think for a pressed glitter, and considering I didn't use a glitter glue, I'm surprised by how little uh, glitter fallout I have on my face. So really, really loving this. I did get this in a boxy charm. This is just like, it's just the most perfect little summer palette you know this is like everything that i need in a summer palette really really loving that performs beautifully not at all surprised i do love the violet boss formula the other product that i have on my eyes is this liquid shadow so this is from alikia beauty i got this in a babe box it's not a brand that i've heard of before so if i'm butchering the name so sorry um and this is like a purple liquid shadow so i put that sort of blush tone in my crease and then I tapped this shade on my lid and then I tapped that glitter, um, that pressed glitter over top of it. So this is the shade right here. And it's it's a little meh for me. Uh, I, I can't say that I would recommend this. Um, it does dry down really nicely. It's not very opaque as you can see, um, even building it up it doesn't fully, fully like cover and go opaque. It doesn't really have much of a finish to it. I want to say it's supposed to be a metallic finish, but as you can see, it's really not reflective at all, but there is some like little shimmer particles in there. I don't know. It's just kind of not doing it for me. Um, so I did decide to try it again today as like a base for that glitter uh, press glitter and I think it worked well that way. You can see the purple coming through so I do like that. Just an ambulance going by, it's fine. Um, but it worked well as like a base for that glitter shadow. <laughs> Um, however, on its own, it's really nothing to get excited about. It does stay really well, like it dries down really fast and stays on. It doesn't crease or anything like that. It just it doesn't have enough punch to it for me. Um, for a liquid shadow, for me personally, I, I just prefer something that's a little bit more exciting. Otherwise, I'm just gonna use a regular eyeshadow, you know? Next up, let's talk about this eyebrow product that I've been loving. So this is the NYX Thick It Stick It Thickening Brow Mascara. I love this. I love this so much. Um, I've been using this basically every day since I got it. I got it in the shade Taupe. It's a thickening brow mascara, but the thing that I love about this is that it really holds your brows. It really holds them in place. So it does have like the little fibers. I don't know if you can see on the wand. It's got those little fibers. Um, it's got quite a bit of color to it. Uh, I don't know if this is a bad idea or a good idea, but you can see it really combs through those hairs nicely. Don't get on my hair. Um, and it holds them in place really, really well. So I, uh, I do think that this has like everything I'm looking for in a brow gel. Um, I find quite often, like I've been using the e.l.f. wow brow and while I like that that has the fibers it has a color that works really well for me but I don't find it has a lot of hold and then other brow products that I've used they have a lot of hold but they don't have the fibers so I just feel like this is like a Goldilocks situation it has everything that I need for a brow gel it really holds everything into place 
it's cruelty free it's at the drugstore now i do find nyx to be a little bit more on the expensive side in terms of drugstore makeup especially here in canada this was like $15 or more. Um, however, it's a nice big tube. I think this is going to last a long time. And for a product that works, I mean, I'll spend $15. It's fine. I don't mind. <laughs> Brow gel is not something that I'm running through super quickly. I would imagine this is going to last me several months. And especially where you've got that sort of tube format, I think you'll be able to really get like what's in there. Really, really loving this. If you've been eyeing this and you haven't tried it yet, highly recommend. Um, I can't think of anybody that wouldn't like this, truly. If you have fine eyebrows, I think this is going to give you the volume you're looking for. If you have thicker brows, I think this is going to give you the hold that you're looking for. I really think this is a great product. Really, really excited that I have that in my collection. Another product that I've been trying out, I've mentioned this in a vlog before. This is the Jack Black Moisture Therapy Lip Balm SPF 25, and I have the Shea Butter formula. So this comes in a few different like scents or flavors, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think probably their mint is their more popular one, but I don't prefer mint products for my lips. I actually find they dry out my lips and make them peel. Um, but I was looking for a SPF lip balm that wasn't waxy, that would give me the protection that I need, but still feel really nice on the lips. And I think this is that. It has a little bit of a shine to it. It's not glossy, but it's got enough of a shine to it to where it looks like you've got a little something on your lips. It really has a nice like slippy glide to it you know I like that in a lip product I don't want something that's stiff and waxy I don't like the way that feels on my lips I find it like gathers up in my lines this one doesn't do any of that it almost has like a serum quality to it it has that great like shea butter sort of sweetish smell without being like cookie scented you know it's really it's really, really wonderful. So this is just like living in my purse. I have had many a beach day with this. I have gone tubing on the river with this. I have done all of the things where I would normally burn my lips with this and not had a hint of a burn on my lips. So highly recommend this. If you've been looking for something, again, cruelty-free at the drugstore for an SPF lip balm, I think this is amazing. Highly recommend. One that I can't say that I recommend, and I don't know if I've reviewed this already, this is the Eloise Body Glow Illuminator. I got this last year in a boxy charm, so I may have reviewed this last year, um, but I did put this in my summer Shop My Stash basket, and so I've had more of an opportunity to try this out this summer, and I don't, I don't think I recommend this one. It's one of those like all over body it's what it's called. It's a body illuminator. Um, it's basically makeup for your body. The problem with this is it claims to dry down and it doesn't. It really doesn't. Now the color is beautiful. I have the shade Champagne Rich. It's really beautiful on the skin. Look at that glow. It's stunning. It's gorgeous. I have worn it quite a bit kind of on this area of the body. So we'll put a little on the collarbone so you guys can see. In. it really does look nice my thing with this is that it really doesn't dry down so I went out on the weekend with my husband see how nice that looks it looks really nice I went out on the weekend with my husband on a little date night for our anniversary and I was like feeling fancy so I put this on my shoulders I put it on my collarbone as I'm doing now I put it on my legs <laughs> and then we went out and about and I felt like sticky <laughs> the whole time. Particularly it bothered me on the legs, like my legs were sort of sticking together and we were seated at one of those tables that's like a little bit higher with the higher stools. I felt like I was kind of slipping and sliding on the seat. It just didn't dry down. It felt like flypaper makeup. Like <laughs> it just felt like anything that touched me was going to stick to me. And I just can't get into that when it comes to the body, you know? Um, so I'm not gonna declutter this. I think I'll just exclusively try to use it like on this area and like on the shoulders, but I definitely wouldn't put this like all over my arms again or all over my legs again. So, you know, that was kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. So if I reviewed this last year and said that I loved it, I've changed my opinion. If I haven't reviewed it yet, now you know my opinion. 
Sometimes it's hard to keep track of what I've reviewed and what I haven't reviewed. Next, let's talk about this little set from Ali Oop. This is their Stack the Odds Sunkissed Stack. Um, so you've got a highlighter on top, you've got a blush in the middle, and then you've got, try not to stick my fingernail in it, a bronzer on the bottom. As you can see, I have used this a ton. Look at the bronzer. Like, hello? I have used this a ton. So I got this in, I think my June boxy charm. I can't remember, June or July. I think June. Um, got this fairly recently in a boxy charm, and this has just been like my go to summer moment. I've taken this a couple of times away with me. It's the perfect little travel set. Um, I really, really love the bronzer. It's what I have on today for bronzer and blush. I have two blushes on, but we'll talk about that in a minute. But it is what I have on for my bronzer and my blush and my highlight. Um, of the three in the stack, I think the highlight is the least exciting. <clears throat> it's a little bit on the stiffer side. Um, I don't think it translates as well to the skin. See, it's not like overly reflective for a highlight. It's a little bit stiff to the touch. However, the blush and bronzer are awesome. The bronzer is like pretty balmy, which I remember when I unboxed this, I was like, ooh, I don't know if that'll be good. It's good. It's really good. It blends so beautifully. So that's the bronzer. That's the blush. You can see that the bronzer is a little bit more on the neutral side. And I think that's why it works so well for me because it's not super orangey or super warm. It just looks really nice and natural on my particular skin tone. I don't know. I'm assuming that they had other colors, like other ranges in the stacks, um, but this one works really well for me. The blush is like a really pretty, like peachy tone, really flattering for summertime. These blend out so beautifully. Now, if I apply them with my fingers, I do find that they pick up the foundation underneath. However, I find that for most cream products in general, if I apply them with my finger, it kind of picks up the foundation underneath. It's almost like it sticks to my finger and picks it up. Um, so I've, I've been just using this with a brush. As you can see, I think that's why I've made such a mess of it. Um, I've been just picking it up with a brush and stamping it on, and I think it's really, really beautiful. The blush lasts pretty well throughout the day for a cream blush. I did top it with another powder blush today because I am working a long day and I have another blush that I want to review for you guys but I love this if you see this pop up on like a boxy pop-up sale um, and you're thinking about getting it I do very much recommend it really really enjoying this and I've gotten tons of use out of that this summer the other blush that I have on is this one from Lower East Side and this is their Skyline blush. I got this in a babe box and I did top my cream blush with this today. They're very similar colors. As you can see, like very similar in tone. This one's a little bit deeper, a little bit more pink. This one's a little lighter, a little bit more peach. Um, but undertone wise, they're very similar. Um, this one is surprisingly pigmented when I, oh, when I unboxed it in my unboxing video, I remember being like, ooh, I don't know if that's even gonna show up on my skin. That's it right there. <laughs> it's really, really light. Um, but on the face, it, it really is very much visible, surprisingly pigmented, very blendable. Um, I really like it a lot. So I had never heard of this brand before, um, but I'd be interested to try more from them. It's a really nice one and yeah, I've gotten quite a bit of use out of that. So I've got three products here from Indeed Labs that I've been testing out. Now, the first one is their Hydra Laurent Tinted Lip Treatment. So I had used their original formula, which is just the clear. So I already knew going in that I would like this, and I do. I like it. It's great. Um, the only thing is if I apply too much and I talk too much, I get that little line right here. But that's true of like a lot of lip balms for me. I think I just talk too much, you guys. You guys are like, yes, we know. Um, so that's the color right there. It's just a really pretty soft pink shade. This is a great like throw it in your purse type of color. Um, you really don't need a mirror to apply it. It's not so pigmented, um, but it's really, really hydrating. So it gives you like the benefits of 
a lip balm with the look of like a pink gloss. So really love that. Highly recommend it if you've had your eye on it. One that I don't know if I can recommend is this Peptilash 2. So this is their eyelash serum and it says targets the lashes to help enhance the appearance of thicker, stronger, and longer looking lashes. Um, so it's got plant stem cells, it's got peptides, um, it's got all kinds of like nourishing ingredients in here. And basically it's like a little marker. It looks black from like mascara residue. I always think that I've got all my mascara off and then I apply this and it looks like I don't. So it's like a little marker, great. You turn this, click it, put it on your eyelashes, great. I have been using this for a couple of months now, at least a month and a half, and I have noticed no change in my lashes. Not a single bit of change. Now, I will say this doesn't irritate my eyes. Most eyelash serums that I've tried, I haven't been able to stick to because they irritate my eyes. This one really doesn't. I haven't had any of those issues, and I have had the situation where I clicked it too many times and like flooded my eye with it. Um, and it still didn't irritate my eyes. So that's great, we love that. However, really not seeing any results. I am gonna continue to use it, and I will let you know if my opinion changes on this one, but as of right now, I'm not noticing enough of a difference to say that I recommend this. Um, I did just have a friend in today for her nails that tried the eyelash serum from The Ordinary, and she's seeing great results, and I could see a difference in her lashes. So I think that I will try that one next. Um, but for now, I'm going to say that this one is a pass. And then the last product that I've been testing out from Indeed is the Nano Bronze Bronzing Drops. These took me a minute to decide how I felt about them. So I, they're kind of similar-ish to the Drunk Elephant. I think they're called their Debronzing Drops, something like that. Um, basically, they're meant to be added to your moisturizer to give your skin a little bit of a tint. So I wear a mineral sunscreen on my face 365 days out of the year. I also use um, chemical exfoliants, BHAs and AHAs. Um, so my face is white. It is stark white. It does not match my body. I have to sort of adjust my foundations in the summertime to kind of match my face to the rest of me. Um, so I got this thinking this is going to be the solution to all of my problems. I'm not a person that wants to have like three different shades of every foundation on hand. So I thought I'll add this to my moisturizers. It'll give me a little bit of a tint and then I can go over top with my makeup and it should kind of balance things out. And what I found was if I added this to my moisturizer, and like let it dry and then put my sunscreen over top as we do, I would just be white again. It was like it erased it. It was like putting sunscreen over top just erased it. So I was like, okay, what if I mix it with my sunscreen? So I tried that. It just like, it just like disappeared into the whiteness that is my sunscreen. So that didn't work. So then I tried applying it like directly to the skin, which was fine, but really doesn't look natural, like looks like you've put a bronzer all over your face, right? So then last but not least, <laughs> I tried adding it to like my tinted moisturizer or my BB cream or even my foundation that was too light. It works perfectly that way. So it took me a minute to figure out what way works for me. Now, if you're a person who does a lot of no makeup days and you just wanna add this to your moisturizer, that's probably fine. I think if you go over top of it with your sunscreen, it's gonna disappear. Um, so if you're somebody like me who's always usually wearing something, if I'm not wearing a foundation, I'm, I'm typically at least wearing like a tinted moisturizer. This works really well mixed in. The color of it is really nice. It's not overly warm. It's warm, it's bronzy, but it's not orangey, you know? It's got almost a more of a neutral base that works really well for me. I think it matches to like the color of my suntan really well. I don't know if you guys can tell. So I'm really, really loving it like that. I've been mixing it pretty regularly in with my Misha BB cream. That's a little bit too light for me right now. And I've been loving it that way. It mixes really beautifully. It almost thins out the formula a little bit. This is like a little bit of a thin, almost jelly-ish kind of texture. Um, so it kind of thins out the coverage a little bit, which I don't mind, especially when, you know, it's summertime, it's like on the go kind of makeup. Um, so really, really loving these like that. So I do recommend this, but I do think it takes a little bit of finessing to figure out what way is going to work for you rather than just like 
exactly what it says on the box. Do you know what I mean? The other thing that I like about this is that it has like skincare benefits. It's not just like, otherwise I could just buy a dark foundation and mix it with all of my things. This has some nice skincare benefits in there. Um, you've got antioxidants in there. It's got like hydrating ingredients, you know, those types of things. So really, really loving that. Do recommend, but go in with eyes wide open. Next up, I've been testing out this liquid lipstick from City Beauty. Um, I got a big PR package from them a few months ago and I've been testing out a variety of their products. I've talked about quite a bit of their skincare so far in speed reviews, um, but this is their City Lips Matte Liquid Lipstick and I have the shade Blush Rose. Now, I think this is just okay. I feel like they're really well known for their lip products and I just don't get it. I don't get it. I find this to be a really interesting formula. First of all, that's the color there. It's like a really pretty blush color. I find it to be a little bit too light for me this time of year. I am gonna try it again in the fall when I'm not quite as tanned and see if I like it better. Um, but I found it weirdly like dries down too matte, but also doesn't dry down at the same time. It's so interesting. It almost keeps this kind of whipped texture to it in a way, but it also dries down and feels a little powdery. I don't know. I And I, I'm not a huge lip liquid lipstick fan these days. I'm mostly wearing lip glosses, lip oils, things like that as of right now. And maybe it's just a preference thing, but this is also supposed to kind of plump your lips at the same time, which I think it does a little bit of that, but not a lot. I don't know. I just don't think this is anything to get overly excited about. I think there's other better liquid lipstick formulas on the market. And are we wearing liquid lipsticks again? Like, is that a thing that's coming back? Let me know in the comments down below because I feel like I keep retrying my liquid lipsticks thinking I used to love these and I just can't get back on board with them. You know, I'd love to have your guys' opinion down there. Do you feel the same way? And then last but not least, I have this uh, hair product here. So this is the Devine's All-in-One Milk. I got this in a boxy term, maybe it was a boxy luxe. I've had this for quite a while in my backups cabinet and I finally ran out of the like leave-in conditioner that I had been using. And I tried this one out and this is one of those like multi-benefit type of products. So it says it adds shine, adds softness and silkiness, excellent detangling power, facilitates combing of dry and wet hair, controls frizz, exceptional conditioning effect, gives body without weighing hair down, moisturizes hair, facilitates blow drying, heat protection, long lasting hairstyle. <laughs> like it does so many things. Reminds me of, I think there was a product called like It's a 10 or something like that, that was like, it had 10 benefits. This kind of gives me that vibe. I really like this. I used this, well, I washed my hair last night. I used it last night. And I have a surprising amount of volume considering I went to bed with wet hair, you know? I mean, I did curl it, obviously, when I got up this morning. Usually when I wash my hair at night, go to bed with my hair wet, and then curl it in the morning, I get all of my volume, like, here. But I feel like I have a nice amount of lift, like, here. So I think that I have this to thank for that because I'm otherwise not using anything else new. I do find this detangles really well. I don't find it weighs my hair down at all. I really, really like it. Um, I don't know anything about the company. I don't know anything about the brand or anything like that. I just know that I tried this out and I had to tell you guys about it. Again, if you see this in like a boxy pop-up sale and you're looking for a good leave-in conditioner, I think this is a really nice one. And those are all the products that I have to review for you guys right now. Um, I, maybe you noticed, maybe you didn't notice, there's not a lot of skincare in this particular speed reviews. And that's because I am testing out like a whole range of skincare products for a specific brand for a dedicated video. So if you're wondering what I've been using lately for skincare, that video will be coming in the next few weeks or so. But in the meantime, these are all sort of the makeup, hair, body things that I've been testing out and loving for the most part. So let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of these, if you've had your eye on any of these. I always love to chat with you guys in the comments. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you guys soon in another video. Bye.